Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Thursday, the 3rd of August. Amit Shah takes a dig at opposition alliance over Delhi Ordinance Bill. Pakistan confirms Afghan national's role in Zorb terror attack. And Bangladesh's exiled opposition leader gets jail term in absentia. The Indian Parliament's lower house on Thursday passed the Delhi Services Bill which aims to grant the central government the authority over appointments and transfer of bureaucrats in the Delhi government. Home Minister Amit Shah, in a scathing attack against the AAP-led Delhi government, said they want control over the officers to hide their corruption. Taking a jibe at the opposition, INDIA Alliance, Shah said the opposition parties should think about Delhi and not about the alliance. Opposition lawmakers describing the bill as malicious, however, accused the government to overriding the judiciary and ruling the state from the back doors. Problem, transfer posting ke adhikar ka nahi hai. विजिलेंस को कंट्रोल में लेकर बंगला जो बना दिया है इसका सत्य छुपाना है जो भ्रष्टाचार हो रहा है इसका सत्य छुपाना है मेरी अपील है विपक्ष के सदस्यों को कि आप दिल्ली की सोचिए एयरलाइंस की मत सोचिए एयरलाइंस से फायदा नहीं होने वाला है और हमेशा बीजेपी हमको कहती है 2014 और 19 में डंके की चोट पे हमको जनादेश दिया था अच्छी बात है कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन इट्स अ डेमोक्रेसी आप जीते हमारे हम मानते फिर केजरीवाल जी को एक रूल और इनको के एक रूल ऐसे कैसे and security has been tightened in new district of india's haryana state amidst curfew as the situation remained tense following communal clashes earlier this week residents said they were facing issues in buying essential items as most people had kept their shops closed despite the curfew being relaxed for a few hours the violence erupted during a religious procession on monday resulting in death of at least 6 people including two home guards personnel The unrest also spread to neighboring Gurugram on Monday night and continued through Tuesday. Reportedly several shops and eateries were vandalized or torched. Authorities have arrested more than 100 people so far for the involvement. Sabji jab ab do do teen din ho gaye band padi hai. Jab koi koi bachcha bhi nahi aa raha mande ke andar aur hum to is subah lagate hain apne saam ko bachche ke liye garib aadmi hai. Apne jab koi aaye ke nahi to hum khange kahan se? में कोई नहीं आ रहा मंडी के अंदर हम सब्जी कहीं से ले भी जाते हैं तो वो पड़ी पड़ी सारी वो हो जाती है खराब Moving on the election commission of Pakistan has warned former PM Imran Khan's PTI party that it could be declared ineligible to obtain election symbol over its failure to hold intra party elections local media has reported in a notice sent to PTI chairman Imran Khan the ECP has directed him to appear before the commission on Friday otherwise action will be taken against the party the poll body mentioned in the notice that it had already served two notices to PTI asking the party to conduct intra party poll but it failed to do so the development comes as general elections are due later this year pti chief imran khan has been already embroiled in a sting of court cases since his ouster as pm last year which can leave him disqualified from contesting mashallah well pakistan on tuesday raised concern over the use of afghan soil to conduct terror activities in pakistan after security officials ascertained three slain terrorists killed during an attack on pakistan's military base were identified as afghan nationals in a statement the foreign ministry said pakistan strongly condemns the use of afghan soil and the unabated involvement of afghan militants in terrorism inside its territory Early on Tuesday Pakistan's foreign minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari had also warned Taliban the de facto authority in Afghanistan of severe action in form of self defense if they fail to act against them highlighting a quantitative rise in terrorist attacks on Pakistan after the Taliban takeover Bilawal said Kabul should adhere to Doha accord and take action against militant groups that are targeting Pakistan Moving on Taliban's acting foreign minister Amir Khan Muttaki met ambassadors and representatives of several nations including the UK and the US in Doha this week 
Mutaki said that delegations should see the realities of Afghanistan from close instead of continuing their work from abroad. The head of Taliban's Qatar-based political office, Suhail Shaheen, in a tweet said that the ground realities in Afghanistan and media reports abroad are contrary to each other and the world needs to have fact-based assessment and judgment about the country for a realistic approach. No foreign government has formally recognized the Taliban's administration over its track record on human rights since it took power in 2021. The country's assets have remained frozen due to sanctions that have severely hampered banking, business and development. Well, a Bangladeshi court on Wednesday sentenced main opposition BNP Bangladesh Nationalist Party's exiled chairman Tariq Rahman and his wife to jail in absentia after finding them guilty of accumulating wealth beyond their declared income. The sentence comes days after large BNP protest rallies called for Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to step down and for the next election to be held under a neutral caretaker government. Rahman has been sentenced nine years in jail and his wife for three years. The BNP has called the ruling dictated verdict as per a blueprint of the government. The opposition has been in disarray since Rahman's mother and party leader, former Premier Khalid Azia, was jailed on corruption charges in 2018 with Rahman trying to run its campaign from exile. Rahman was also sentenced to prison in 2018 over a plot to assassinate Sheikh Hasina in 2004 when she was in the opposition. And over 1.27 crore tourists have visited India's picturesque Jammu and Kashmir region with the figure expected to touch a record high by the year end. A report. India's Jammu and Kashmir territory has witnessed over 1.27 crore tourist arrivals this year. Officials have informed with the figure expected to touch record high by the end of the year. Known for its snow-topped Himalayan mountains, fast-flowing rivers, Mughal era gardens, alpine meadows and houseboats around the beautiful Dal Lake, the Union Territory has seen a resurgence in domestic tourism. करोड़ तो कुछ भी नहीं और बहुत सारे लोग आएंगे जैसे यहां का माहौल है जैसा घूमने लगा सबका व्यवहार है व्यवहार बहुत अच्छा लगा Tourism is an important industry for Kashmir accounting for about 7% to its economy according to government data providing livelihood to thousands of people Tourism stakeholders said social media is one of the main tools which is helping in the promotion as the visitors share their experiences online, encouraging others to visit as well. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see the same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.